Hi friends. So in our previous video, we saw how we can remove the checkpoint, delete file path and move file source sections from pending.xml file, which holds the string 16 times 0.cdf-ms to get rid of this error, which we receive while updating windows. Okay. So in any way, if that method did not work for you, here is another method to resolve the same issue. So I'm not going deep into the technical aspects like causes and after effects because we have already discussed that in the previous video, right? So if any one of you have not seen the previous video or tried the method shown in that video, I would first recommend you to go ahead and watch the video. Try the method. If the method do not work for you, then come to this video again and uh, try the method shown in this video. So in this video, we are basically going to disable the windows update because we know the issue or the error we have received while updating system or installing patches so to disable windows update you first need to get to the advanced boot menu and then get the access to command prompt now in order to get to the advanced boot menu we need either an installation cd or a bootable usb of same operating system that is installed on your system Okay, I have Windows 8 installed on my system, so I'm using Windows 8 bootable USB. You can use either one of them. The method is same for both. If you want to learn how to make the bootable USB for Windows 7, 8 or 10, the links are in the video description right below this video. Once you're ready with the installation CD, insert it into the CD-ROM or plug in the bootable USB stick. Start your system and we need to select the boot device. So the boot menu option key varies per manufacturer. It may be escape or F8 or F9 or F10 or F12. These are common boot menu options key that you can use to get to the boot menu. In my case, it's escape. You can even identify what key is used to get to the boot menu by simply paying attention. When you start your system, it displays the detail for about two or three seconds. Just like in my system, it says here, when I run this in slow motion, you can see escape is the key for my system to get to the boot menu. So as per the boot menu options for your system, press the key. From the boot menu, select appropriate boot device. If you are using installation CD, then select CD-ROM drive. And if you are using bootable USB stick, then select removable device and hit enter. Once you select the boot device, your system will start to boot from the selected device. Press any key to continue and you will end up on this screen. Click next and click on repair your computer. Click on troubleshoot. You will have multiple options under troubleshoot. Select advanced option and then select command prompt. If you are using Windows 7 disk, then you might get command prompt option at the beginning itself. Now is the real task to perform. Once we get the access to command prompt, we are now going to disable Windows updates that has caused this whole mess. Okay. We need to gain access to MS config console. To have it first type C colon and hit enter. Now type cd space windows backslash system32 and hit enter. So we are basically now in C directories windows system32 folder where actually the ms config file located. Now type ms config and hit enter. It will open a new console. Go to the services tab. Scroll down to the bottom and find the service named Windows Update, right? And to disable the Windows Update, simply uncheck the option, click on Apply, and then click on OK. That's all. Now, restart your system and it won't initiate to install any pending updates as it has already been turned off. Okay. So, well, there is a simple way of doing this method instead of going into advanced boot menu. You can simply gain access to safe mode, login with the administrator account, and from there, 
you can disable Windows Update using MS Config. But as we know Windows, not everyone is fortunate enough that it let you have access to the safe mode. Many times it just goes into a restart loop and does not let you log into the safe mode. And then there comes this little lengthy but efficient method. I hope you like the video, keep sharing it, provide your valuable comments in the below comment box and do not forget to hit the subscribe button. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram on following username. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.